Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 7th of September 2020. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Tarot of the Witches. Let's see what the cards want you to know for Monday the 7th. We've got the Knight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Okay. So listen to your own crazy ideas, especially as they relate to money and your belongings and your physical routine and your health and what doors that opens up for you. So what new businesses you can start, what new diet you want to go on or health routine or how you want your daily routine to change, you want to live by the sea. All of those extreme ideas are a gift from the universe. Don't dismiss them just because they are extreme and seem immature and not well thought out. These are things that spiritually are true for you. They're coming in to your spiritual kind of center and they want to be heard. Here we've got the five sided star, spirit over earth, air, water, fire. And that really does lead to something new that's going to be a big passion in your life. So if you do get any ideas that you would label as outrageous or impractical, really listen to those. And if you can, look at ways of implementing them in a practical way, because it can really make your life bigger and richer and more exciting. So the Knight of Swords represents a an energy or a man in your life who rushes into things. He gets an idea and it's like a steel shot, uh, a steel trap that snaps shut because as soon as he has the idea, boom, he has to be on the horse and he has to be doing it. It's really impulsive, it's reckless, it's not thought out. It's just signing a contract without reading it. And it's speaking before you think as well. It's anything comes out. He's really um, someone without a filter. And he rushes into situations and makes them even more complicated and he causes a lot of damage. So usually when you feel this way and you have all of these ideas bubbling up, as you kind of move through life, you learn to kind of put those things to a side and say, hey, you know, what? I can't say everything that I think and feel. It's going to cause uproar in my life. But today, those thoughts that you would usually dismiss straight away, it's them in particular that can op open doors for you financially and in your practical physical life. So before you just kind of get sober in the sense of I am thinking about business now and it's time to get serious and it's time to be real, allow yourself to daydream a little bit and to let your mind wander to have these amazing insights because they are a gift from the universe that is handed to you. So you'll find that you get really practical, concrete guidance that says do A, B and C. So why don't you think about joining the Yacht Club or what about living in uh, a different country or what about starting the new job or really opening the woodworking shop or whatever it may be. That is an idea if it comes in today and it's out of the blue and it feels chaotic, chaotic and extreme, then really take that on board as being a serious gift that if you look into it, it has a lot of potential and a lot of room for growth. You can see this guy on the edge of a cliff with all these ships. Each one of these ships is sailing somewhere. There's a whole big world out there and he's looking at one bay and he's dreaming about how he can expand and move out into the world himself. So this idea is going to allow you to make your life a lot bigger. Even though it seems reckless and it seems unlikely, don't dismiss it. Look at different options and kind of play the tape forward in the sense of, okay, if I do this, practically, you know, it costs 20% more in terms of groceries in that country than it does in this country. So if I move, I'm going to have higher costs in that area, but they're offset by etc. and so and so. And look at what actual things you have to rule out as being genuinely impractical and not helpful. And the things that do open doorways, if you look at these ones, they create a gap between them. And these are doorways that can open into a new chapter of your life. So listen to what motivates you and what is practical. And try and get things in place so that you can expand on this day and take action on it straight away. You really don't need to worry about misunderstanding things or taking it the wrong way. You really, it's straight from your idea, from your head, 
into the real world, into the public, because as soon as you have the idea, you can implement it and do something with it. That's really going to make your life bigger immediately. So listen, keep your eyes and ears open to what gifts the universe is offering you, what um, guidance you get. It's really going to lead somewhere positive. And make sure you trust your inner voice and that you don't just wave away all of these good ideas. They're really worth listening to and they will make your life better. So amazing. What a great way to start the week. Number wise, we've got the court card, which is one, ace card, which is one, one and one is two, and three is five. Five is about freedom in numerology. So your ideas made practical lead to you being free in one way or another, whether it's in your body, your diet, that you feel better, that you lose some weight and you have more energy, or that you move somewhere else and you're much happier in this different part of the world, or you change your job, or you see an opportunity in your job where you can expand and you bring it to your boss and he says, sure, if you take this on on top of your existing duties, we'll pay you more and you do something that's more enjoyable. And it stems from you noticing the opportunity and taking practical action on it. It could also be in your daily routine. If you add an hour in where you exercise or where you have time for yourself or you socialize, whatever. It, if it changes the quality and the daily routine of your life and it brings more fire and heat into it, then it's a gift from the universe. Trust it and implement it. It will lead to personal freedom in whatever area you focus on today. So congrats. Have an amazing Monday. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the button on the front page to order your reading with me. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.